Hello, welcome back for more Super Mega Baseball 4 Season 2 action. Today, the Neon are back at home, taking on the 13 and 14 Serpents. Second time these two teams have met this year, Serpents won the first game, 5 to 2. But the overall series, the Neon hold the lead there, 2 to 1. But the score is only a 9 and 8 advantage for the Neon, so Serpents need to win here to even up the series. Let's see if they can do it. They're going to send July Shields to the mound with a 3 and 1 record, 3.10 ERA. Neon have Gray Smythe on the bump. He's 4-0 with a 2.95 ERA. So let's get to lineups and right off the bat we gotta get Phillips out of here. The morale is going down and plus he's fatigued, so unfortunately we gotta get Roach in here. And for, before I do that, how much is that one um catcher that was released? What is it? She wants 23 million. That's gonna be a no, but we will watch her. Just keep tabs of her. Because if we could sign her, that would be amazing. But for now, she's way out of our price range. So let's get back to the lineup. As I said, Roach is in. Hogwash is starting to slack off a little bit. So let's take him out. Richie's going to come back in. Let's swap those two. He's back in his normal position. Offside... She didn't do too great last game. Let's take her out. Let's give Arnold a chance. Everybody else is good to go. Barraza still got good morale. So he's still pretty much on a hot streak right now. And Shipwreck was the hero of last game. Her home run broke the tie and was the game winner. So let's see if she can continue on with that and get her off on a good note here. Hopefully get a hitting streak going. The Serpents, let's see, they got a fatigued second baseman. High morale for Pinata in right field, and the third baseman and shortstops both have negative morale. How much of that comes into play, we have yet to see. So let's get to it. It's going to be a night game. <clears throat> so they exchanged their lineup cards here at home plate. Crowd's ready to go. Lots of green and purple jerseys everywhere. Home team's fired up as they now take the field. Uriah Pinata is going to be pitching. I mean, pick. Uh, pit. She's first up, or he's first up. Leading off, that's what I meant to say. Batting 303, three homers, 11 RBIs. He's in right field. And the first pitch from Smythe. In there for a strike, and we are underway here. He looks at a slider up high. That's taken for strike two. And swing and a miss on a changeup outside the zone. And it's quickly one away. So up next, Enzo Pugh playing center field, batting 184. Driven in 10 with one home run. First pitch outside. In there, strike one. And he lines this one out to short. Rich will pick it up. Throw to first. That's out number two. How do they pronounce it? Kieran, okay, so Kieran Walker's up next, playing second base, batting three, 235, got the one homer, five RBIs, and he hits the first pitch, just off Arnold's glove at third, he's going to be safe at first with an infield single, but she didn't stop him from reaching the corner, so it's two outs, runner first, here's Colson Blevins, playing first base, batting 303, he's got four home runs, 16 RBIs. He looks at a slider inside, strike one. Fastball, fouled away left side. So he's in the hole, 0-2. And this is over Arnold's head. This is going to go all the way to the wall in left, in left field. Shipwreck fires it back in. <clears throat> but that'll put runners at the corners. Two outs. And Luca Instigate's got a chance to drive in a run. He's been at 262. Six home runs, 17 RBIs. See if Smythe can get out of this without any damage being done. First pitch misses. Oh, actually, it misses in there. That one misses, so it's one and one. It's fouled away, so it's one and two. Hit on the ground a second. Avenue lays out, picks it up, throws the first in time. That's out number three. That is the inning, and Neon get out of the jam without any runs being scored. They give up two hits, leave them both stranded. Neon coming up bottom of the first for the first time. Barajas going to be leading off. He's batting 368. Six home runs and 12 RBIs. 
Still a bit of a hot streak right now. Let's see, looks like a strike to start it off. That misses low, ball one. Swung late on that one, strike two. Ooh, right down the middle, he's early on it. Fouled it off to the right. Early again, fouled it to the right. This is going to drop for a single out in the center, and Brahaz is going to be safe at first with a leadoff single. As the Neon try to equalize the performance from the Serpents on the beginning, top of the first. Here's Chris Sloan, batting 299. He's got five homers, 19 RBIs. He looks at a strike to start it off. It grounds this one through the hole on the right side. Sloan's going to be safe at first, and Brahas holds up at second. So nobody out as Bird comes to the plate, bang 380, with six homers, 16 RBIs. Runners at first and second. Neon have something cooking. She's just out in front, fouls us off to the right. Taking low, ball one. Fair ball right down the line. This is going to reach the corner. Brahas is going to come around to score. Sloan is going to advance to third. And Bird's going to be safe at first with an RBI single. So the Neon strike first here in the bottom of the first. It's 1 0. As Avenue steps in with runners on the corners, still nobody out. And she gets all this one. Long gone home run. Got a tape measure on that one. Three run home run for Avenue. And Neon are breaking it open here early. It's already four to nothing. 462 feet. That's her eighth home run. She now has 20 RBIs. She's the first player on the team to hit it. Near Spencer Roach, batting 235. He's got one of those RBIs for the team. And he pops first pitch up. Second baseman's going running out to the outfield. And it's glove for out number one. As Roach is retired. Here's the last game's hero. Kaylee Shipwreck steps in, batting 264. She's got four home runs, 13 RBIs. That fourth home run was the game winner. First pitch up high, strike one. Outside for ball two. Deep fly to right. It's got some carry to it. Fair ball off the very top of the wall. She missed it by inches. That had a home run distance on that one, but that wall is so tall up there. It robbed her. She's going to save save at second with a double as Ricky Ricci steps in. Betting 318. So that was in there for a strike. Fouls it back, so it's 0-2. Ground ball, foul to the left. Still 0-2. Looper out to the left. This is going to be caught. It will be caught. And Shipwreck has to hold it second. So it's now two outs. Runner at second base. Arnold steps in. Bang 375. No homers as of yet, but two RBIs. He just looks at a ball outside. Line shot over to shortstop's head. This is going to roll into left center. Arnold's going to hold it first with a single. The shipwreck scores. It's now 5-0. Bottom of the first, Neon out in front. They've gone all the way through the order. Here's the number nine hitter, Gray Smythe. Betting 300. And he gets good contact as well, but I think this is going to hang up a little too long. And this one's caught out in left center field for out number three. That ends the inning, but the Neon score a bunch early. They now lead 5 nothing going to the top of the second. Off of six hits that frame. And here's Gina Zuger. She's playing short, bang 269. She's got 14 RBIs and two homers. And the first pitch, taken for a strike down low. And she'll foul the next one away. Line shot. Nice diving stop from Arnold at third. That's out number one. Arnold displaying the glove a little bit over there. And here's Olive Botham. She's playing left field, batting 359. She swings and misses. 
Change up on the corner. Strike two. Just past Smythe into center. This would be a one-out single for Botham. <clears throat> As Trenton Sampson steps in, he's, going, he's their catcher for today. Only batting .087. But he does have one home run. Driven in seven, so it's not too bad. That average. Fouls the first one off. Takes the fastball in there. That's strike two. Swing and a miss at the inside change. That's strike three. So two down. Here's the pitcher. Shields is batting 364. She does have one home run, though. But her contact rating is seriously negligible at the moment. And she looks at a strike. And she'll foul this away. And just watches the changeup go in. That's strike three, and she's out. And the surplus will go down. Bottom of the second coming up. The honor still leading by five. It's a five nothing score. And they're back at the top of their order as well. There's Baraz. He singled his first time up. He looks at a strike to start. Late swing at the inside fastball. Fouls this one back. Still 0 2. Popped up. Into center. Second baseman is going to call everybody off. And they glove this one. That's out number one. As Sloan steps in for his second at bat. He singled his first time as well. He looks at a ball low and in. Way down in the dirt. Ball two. Fouled it back. Out in front of that one. Swing and a miss. Slow grinder to the right side. First baseman has it. Just gets the ball at the first base in time for the pitcher who's covering. That's out number two. And here's Bird. She's one for one. She singled and drove in the first run of the game last time up. Ooh, blaze that fastball by her. Swing and a miss. Foul all the way. 0 and 2. And she hits this one into center. Just over to second baseman. That's going to drop for a hit. And Bird's safe at, se safe at first. With the two out single. And here's Avenue. We got the big hit in the first inning. That three run home run. She's one for one. Batting with another runner on base. And she's got herself another hit. That's a single up the middle. That extends the inning. It's now have, Neon now have runners at first and second with two outs. And here's Roach who's 0 for 1. First pitch fouled off to the left. Weak grounder to second. Throw over to first. That's in time. That's out number three. That is the inning. Now leave two runners on base. They don't score either, but they still lead by five. Going on top of the third. As the Serpents are at the top of their order now. Pinata's 0 for 1. First pitch off of diving Braha's glove. That's going to be an infield single. Just couldn't corral that one. So Pugh steps back up into the box. He's 0 for 1. Now batting with the runner at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. He's way out in front of that changeup. Slider misses. Toss over to first. Let him know we know he's there. Swing and a miss of the high fastball. Swing and a miss at the low changeup. Strike three. So here's Walker. He's singled this first time. Now batting with one out. Runner at first. First pitch. Creamed in the right. This is going to drop for a hit. That's going to put runners at first and second. With one out. Here's Blevins. He's singled this first time. I mean, the Serpents try to claw their way back in here. First pitch, slider misses low. This one's hit through the hole in the left side. This is going to load the bases. So one out, bases loaded. And Luca Instigate at the plate. I think he's the team's home run leader. 
So Smythe needs to be careful here. They can get right back in it. First pitch misses. Fastball high misses as well. So it's 0 2. I mean 2 0. Change up misses. He's in danger of walking in a run. Fastball through the hole left side. That's going to drive in one. So they score their first run. It's now 5 to 1. Bases are still loaded. Still with one out. Zuger steps back in. She's 0 for 1. Smythe needs a double play here. Get out of this inning. Instead, he gets a ball right upside his face. That's going to drive in another run, but they're out at first. And Botham steps in. She's one for one, but can Smythe continue? He cannot. His day is done. He got creamed with that one. Man, he's going to miss a couple. He's probably going to miss at least one start, if not more. Um, I guess we have to bring Port Matthews in. No. Or Dunk. Dunk's the best reliever. Let's bring Dunk in. All right, so Dunk's coming in. He hasn't given up any earned runs so far. Everybody on base right now is still uh, Smythe's responsibility. This one's fouled away. Misses high. Ball one. Caught the out, I mean, inside corner. That's strike two. Hit on the right side. Braz lays out to get it. Tossed the loss in cover, and that's out number three. That ends the inning. Serpents leave runners on base, but they score two. So they inch a little bit closer. It's a 5-2 to two game now. now Shipwreck steps back in. She doubled her last time, just missing a home run by inches. She's cursing whoever built that wall out there. She swings the first pitch and misses it. Ball one outside. Swing and a miss. Fastball blaze right by. Slow tapper to third. Throw across. That's in time. And Kaylee's retired. That'll bring Richie up. He's 0 for 1. He looks at a ball low. Deep fly to right center. Right fielder is there. And that's gloved for out number 2. So 2 down. Nobody on. Here's Summer Arnold. She singled and drove in a runner first time up. And she lines this one to the left. This is going to be a fair ball. And she's going to hold up at first on this one. So a two-out single for Arnold. As Dunk Lawson comes in. No average as of yet. This may be only be a second at bat, possibly. As Arnold distracts the pitcher over there. Swings at this one and misses it. Popped up on the infield. Third baseman runs in, and they glove this one. That's out number three. That is the inning. Leon leave runner on base, but they lead by three as you go to the top of the fourth. Currently out hitting the surface 9-7. to seven. So here's Sampson. He's 0 for 1. He takes a fastball, which Roach couldn't even handle. This was fouled away, so it's 0-2. Fouled away again. And again, fouled off. Creamed in the left, but this is going to be a foul ball. So we'll do this again. Fastball misses outside. Curve, check swing. Held up. Ball two. High fastball. So it's come back to even up the order here. It's full count. This one's grounded to short. Richie will throw it over to first. That's out number one. And that'll bring the pitcher up. Who stay could be done here. But they're going to leave her in. Kind of surprising a little bit. Even though she has settled down since that first inning. And she swings and misses the first pitch. Slider's in there. Strike two. Curve misses low. Ball one. Swing and a miss at the high fastball. That's strike three. Two away. So back to top of the order again. Here's Pinata. Pinata. He's one for two. He's out in front. Fouls it to the right. Popped up to the left field. 
Shipwreck will have an easy play on this one. She's in position. Gloves it. That's out number three. And the Serpents go down in order here at the top of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Neon about to hit the batter's box. They lead by three. It's a five to two score. As they're at the top of their order as, as well. Here's Barajas. He's one for two. Looks at a ball low. Fouls this one right straight back. So it's one and one. Hard shot up the middle. Shortstop dives and gets it, but Barraz outruns it. He's going to be safe at first with an infield single. So nobody out. Runner at first. Here's Sloan. He's one for two. Got his average back over 300. Line shot on the ground to short. It's out of the second for out number one. Over to first. In time. Double play. Sloan grounds into a double play. So two down. Is up the bird. Keep it going. She's two for two. Late on the fastball. Strike one. Fouls this one back, so it's a 0 and 2. Fouled back again. Taken for ball one outside. That was a high pitch. You should not have swung at that. The shorts. I mean, the second baseman's got it. That's out number three. They don't go down in order. Top of the fifth coming up. Now they're still out in front by three. There's Pew. He's over two. Looks at a slider down low. Ball one. Fastballs in there. Strike one. Fouled off to the left, so it's one and two. Fouled away again. Check swing, curve in the dirt. Grounded to short. Richie will glove it. Throw to first. That's out number one. So what away? Here's Walker. She's two for two. Hits this one to foul to the right. Just to reach the seats. Check swing. Curve misses low. Foul to the left. Just outside the line. Hit end of right this time. Burr is going to have a play on this one. She gloves it. That's out number two. And that'll bring Brev Blevins back to the box. He's two for two. Two singles. Hits the first pitch. Foul to the left. Slider misses high. And as this one's popped up, who's going to take charge of this one? Richie's there, and he'll glove it. That's out number three. As the Serpents go down, one, two, three. Bottom of the fifth coming up. Still a three-run advantage for the Neon. As Avenue steps back in, she's two for two. She's accounted for all the Neon runs so far. Take that back. She counted for half of them, over half of them. At the time, she'd driven all of them. She takes a ball outside. Fouls this one back. Fouled back again. Taken for strike three. That looked pretty low. I'd have a complaint there if I was her. But she's she's down. Here comes Roach. 0 for 2. He pops it up foul behind the plate, but then he'll hit the screen. So strike one. Another grinder out to second. I think he's done that all three times, I think. And he's out at first on the throw. So two down, here's Shipwreck. She's one for two. Takes ball one way up high. Swing and a miss to the inside slider. That was way up and in. She should not have swung at that one. Outside for ball two. Out in front of that one. As that one bounces in the dirt. She's thrown out at first. That is the inning. 5-2 score, a neon out in front. If we go to the top of the six. There's Instigate. He's one for two. He's driven in one run. First pitch hit deep to center. But Sloan is already in position, though. And he's got this one. Routine catch, out number one. And 
Gina Zucker steps back in. She's 0 for 1. She's driven in the other run. Takes the curve down low. Strike 1. Slider hit over Avenue's head. It's a roll to the wall in center field. And she's on her way to second. Sloan gets it back in, but that's going to be a stand-up double. So that'll put a runner at second with one out. And here's Botham, who's one for two. As Lawson's getting a little fatigued out here. First one's fouled off. Let's see if he can make it through the rest of this inning. Fouled away again. So it's 0-2. Fouled off again to the right side. Swing and a miss of the high M5 fastball. That's strike three. So two down. Here's Sampson. 0 for 2. First pitch misses low. Inside fastball. Taken for strike one. Slow tapper out toward the pitcher. Lawson fires the first. That's in time. Out number three. That is the inning. Surplus get a hit. Leave him stranded. Bottom of the six coming up. 5-2 score. Neon still out in front. Here's Ricky Ricci. He's 0 for 2. So their pitchers really settled down after that rocky first inning. That was swung at a missed. That's outside. Ball 2. Slow tapper out to second. Throw across. That's out number one. That'll bring Summer Arnold up to the box. She's two for two. And driven in one run. But she's going to ground out the first this time. And the first baseman steps on the bag. That's out number two. As Lawson steps in, but he's getting taken out. His day is finished. Let's bring Lushley in to pinch hit. She takes a ball. Started off. She's batting 242 on the year. Ball two outside. Strike on the inside corner. Hard shot up the middle and through. This is going to be a two out single for Lushley. As they go to back to top of the order here. Here's Barajas. It's two for three. He's got two singles. As he continues the hot hitting in the last couple games. He takes a strike to start it. And he's got himself his third hit as this one's grounded in the center. Unless she round second, but she's going to hold up. That would have been a close play, or possibly probably would have been thrown out, most likely. But runners at first and second now with two outs, and it's up to Sloan to try to get him, keep it going. As Shields is now being replaced. And is that Dano? Dano Floyd coming in to pitch with a 576 ERA. And he's already tired, so he's been used already. And replacing the catcher as well. Samson's coming out. Squishy Handspringer is going to come in to catch now. Their stats are pretty much the same defensively. He's a faster player. Definitely batting better too with the 30, 230. So the first pitch to Sloan. Take him down low and in. Ball one. Foul straight back. Strike one. And he lines it right to the second baseman. This is caught for out number three. That is the inning. So the Neon, Neon leave two runners on base. They don't score. We go to the top of the seventh. They still lead by three. Yeah, Squishy Handspringer comes in. Batting 230. Driven him one. As Port Matthews comes in now. 727 ERA. First pitch is in there. Strike one. Slider misses inside. This one's hitting deep to center. This one's got a chance to go off the wall and gets away from Sloan. And Hansberg is going to hold up at second with a double. They possibly could have gone to third on that. So runner at second, nobody out. Here's Panada. Batting one for three. First pitch fouled off. He's way out in front of the changeup. Fouls that one off. So it's 0 2. Shatters his bat. This was fouled off to the left hand side. 
Hit on the ground. Pass Barajas. First fair ball. This is going to drive in a run. That's an RBI single for Pinata. It's now a 5 to 3 game. But the tying run at the plate. Here's Pew. He's 0 for 2. I'm 0 for 3. He looks at the strike to start it. Check swing. That slider's in there. So it's 0 and 2. Takes the change up outside. Reached up for that one. Fouled it off. So one and two still. Slider misses. Fastball in there. Got him looking. Strike three. So two away. Here's Walker. Two for three. He's got two singles. Oh, it's one out, not two outs. Still batting with the runner at first. Takes a strike low. Changeups in there as well. Strike two. Stealing base. Got a good jump. And he's safe. As pretty much every team can steal and roach as much as they want. He has no arm. And they're going to steal third. That's what this is a hit and run. Past Barajas' glove. Throw goes home. And it's not going to be in time. It's going to be a 5-4 to four game. The Serpents are clawing their way back. They're only down by one. Tying run on first base with an RBI single that time. As Blevin steps in. He's two for three. As Port Matthews Morales starting to go down. And this one's going to be grounded. Oh, almost through the hole. Out at second. But not at first. So Richie saved that one. They got one out. Got the lead runner. It's now two outs. Runner first. As Instigate comes back up to the plate. And he takes a slider in there. Strike one. Change up. Drill to right. Ooh, jumping attempt from Bird. This gets away. That was an ill-advised jump, most likely. That's going to be a double for Instigate. Runners at second and third now with two outs. Here's Zuger. She's one for two. She has a double and an RBI. Tying run. They're 90 feet away. That pitch misses low. Change up misses high. Ooh, that was a bad play. Avenue laid out or tripped, it looks like. That's going to be an infield single. That's going to tie the game up. Looked like Avenue just tripped and fell. So it's now a 5-5 game. Go ahead, run 90 feet away. So this one's fouled off to the right. The Serpents have come fighting their way back in this one. As this was popped up on the infield. This should end the inning. And it's caught out number three. That does end the inning. But the Serpents score three. They tie it up here in the top of the seventh. And are now out hitting the Neon 13-12. to 12. We got a game again. As Burr steps in. She's two for three. Her defensive mistake out there cost him a run. And she looks at a strike. And she'll foul this one off. And she'll ground to first with the next one. And this will be easy out. Steps on the bag. One away. So here's Avenue. She's two for three. Can't believe she tripped and fell like that. She takes a ball up high. Ball one. Outside for ball two. Do they want to pitch to her? There's a strike on the outside corner. This one's fouled off, so it's two and two. Yep, she's going to ground a short. That's going to be out number two. So here's Roach. She's over three. Still looking for his first hit. As he takes a strike on the inside. Fouls this one back. Hit right back to the pitcher who gloves it. Nice reaction time there. That ends the inning. Does the go down in order? Top of the eighth coming up. It's 5-5 five, five score. As Floyd steps back in. Actually, this is his first at bat of the game. He's the pitcher. Mm, it's eighth inning. Matthews is starting to slump here, but 
We don't have any pitchers left in the bullpen, and we could go extra innings here. So we need to stick with them. First pitch is in there for a strike. So is the second pitch. Fastball taken for strike three, and that's one away. So here's Handspringer, who doubled her last time. First pitch, grounded to first. Barajas will have an easy play. Steps on the bag. That's out number two. And that'll bring Pinano, who's two for four. He's driven in one run. First pitch in there for a strike. Sliders fouled off. High fastball, fouled away. Slow tapper out in front, and nobody's going to get to him. That's going to be an infield single. He just outran everybody. So that's basically a, like he's button for a hit there. So runner at first with two outs. And they're stealing second. There's the throw. Not in time. Safe at second. As again, as they can steal on Roach all day long. Toss back, so he may be trying to steal third. Fastball taken for strike two. That was way low and in. Ball one. Popped up by the plate, but this is going to reach the seats. Taken high for ball two. Fastball just missed high. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Couldn't get the slider. Port gets out of it. Leave a runner stranded at second. Still a 5-5 game here in the bottom of the eighth. As the tension's starting to build. Here's Shipwreck. She's one for three. If that wall had been shorter in right field, then the would still be up by one. Because that had home run right over it. And she creams this up the middle. Just missed the pitcher. So a leadoff single for Shipwreck. As the Neon come clawing back, trying to get the lead back. Here's Ricci, 0 for 3. He fouls the first pitch off. Outside for ball. Fouled away. 1 and 2. Weak grounder to short. This is going to be out at second. Ricci's going to be safe at first. On a fielder's choice. So one away, runner at first. Here's Arnold. She's two for three. Fouls first pitch off to the right. So it's 0 1. Toss over to Ricci, who's going to dive back in. He's not stealing. He doesn't have the speed for that. And they pitch out like he's going, like he's going to steal. That was a bad pitch. She possibly could have got hit with that one, but she swung at it. And that'll bring more uh, Port Matthews up, but he is completely exhausted. His day's done. Uh, we'll bring offside in for a pinch hit. Takes a ball up high. Runner at first, two outs. Swing and a miss. One and one. Line shot left side. That's a foul. Another foul back behind the plate. So let's do it again. Inside for ball two. This pitcher's running out of gas. Toss over. Ricci's safe. Grounder to third. That's foul. Another foul. Inside. Ball three. Full count. Ricci's going to be going. There he goes. Swing and a miss, strike three. Offside goes down. So now leave a runner at first. We go to final frame, top of the ninth. Still tied up at five. This Walker steps in. Three for four today. Driven in one. And Alejandro Dantas is going to the mound now for the Neon. 352 ERA. See if he can hold them. First pitch fouled off. Check swing in there. Strike one. I mean, strike two. Fastball fouled off. 
Fastball taken inside. Ball one. Swing and a miss way out in front of the changeup. Strike three. So one away. Here's Blevins. Here's two for four. Changeup's in there. There's a strike. Fastball. Same exact position. Take, also taken for strikes. And just watches the changeup go in. Strike three. So two away. Here's Instigate. Who's two for four. Got that double his last time up. First pitch. Take it for a ball low. Changeup fouled off. And this one's fouled away. Fouled off again. And again fouled away. Watches it go through. That's a strike. That's strikeout number three in the inning as Danta strikes out the side. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Now just need one run to win this game. It's all knotted up at five. And they're back at the top of the order. Here's Barajas. It's three for four. And Floyd's coming out. Morgan Hackett's going to come in to pitch with a .71 ERA. I think he leads the whole league in that category, if I'm not mistaken. Either way, this is the pitcher here. He's got some heat. As he fouls first pitch off. Ball one, taken low. Out in front of that one. Strike two. Taken for a ball outside. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Brahas goes down. And that brings Sloan up. His morale starting to go down. He's one for four. Home run here will bring that morale up. As he takes a strike to start it. Taking for ball one. Down low. Inside. Ball two. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch the fastball. Out in front of that one, strike three. And Sloan is down strikes. So two down. Here's Bird. She's two for four. Out in front of that one, strike one. And she lines this one out to short. That's caught for out number three. That'll do it. Ninth inning is over. We go to extra innings. Top of the tenth coming up, 5-5 five, five game. Here's Zuger, two for three. Single, double, and driven in two. She takes a strike down low to start the at-bat. Change-up's in there. There's strike two. Fouled away. Watches the change-up. That's strike three. Dantas has faced four batters, struck out all four so far. Here's Botham, one for four. First pitch misses inside. And this one's lined up in the middle and through. That's going to be a single for Botham. So runner at first with one away. As the pitcher steps in. No hits as of yet. And they're going to take them out. Ply Midtown's going to pinch hit. Batting 222. He's got some power, but not much contact. Takes fastball in there. Strike one. Change up, misses. Swing and a miss of the fastball. So it's one and two. Another fastball taken. Popped up center field. Sloan is there. And he'll catch this one for out number two. Runner goes back to first. So it's now two outs. Runner at first. And here's Handspringer. She's got a double, but she's one for two. First pitch, taken for a strike low. Popped up on the right side. Avenue and Bird give chase. Avenue is there. She'll glove it. That's out number three. That ends the inning. They leave a runner on base. Trevor Hughes is going to come in to pitch with an 8-10 ERA. Bottom of the 10th coming up. Again, the Neon just need one run to win it. As Avenue steps back up to the plate for a fifth time. She's two for four. This 
This guy's got no accuracy. See, throws a ball. It's got the accuracy back now. This one's fouled away, so it's one and one. Swing and a miss. Fastball blew right through her. Swing and a miss again. Slider. So one away. Here's Roach. He's 0 for 4. Way up and in. That's going to hit him. So Sloan's going to walk over his first base. And hopefully he's not injured. But Shipwreck steps in for her fifth at bat. She's 2 for 4. Doesn't look like Roach is injured. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Right down the middle. Fouled it off. So it's 0 and 2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. All of a sudden, these last two innings or so, nobody's can hit the ball. Here's Ricci. 0 for 4. Batting with the runner at first with two outs. And he fouls first pitch off. This ball gets away. Roach is on his way to second. So base hit here could win the game. Inside, strike two. Outside for ball two. Down low and in, ball three, full count. Line shot to left, this is going to drop foul. And that's taken for ball four. Richie's going to find his way over to first. And that's going to put runners at first and second. Two outs as Arnold steps in. She's two for four. So this one's up and in for a ball. Check swing, taken high for ball two. Down low, ball three. Drama continues to build. That's in there, strike one. Inside, ball three. That's going to load the bases. And here's Dantas. Actually, we want to take him out. Take him out for a pinch hitter. Overly, as much as I don't want to use you, let's put you in. Need a hitter here, just in case. First pitch, up high, ball one. Inside, strike one. Bases loaded. Fouled away. One and two. Outside, ball two. Up the middle and through. That's a single. That's going to win it. Overly comes through with a pinch hit single. Neon win this one. Six to five. This was a tight one. Six to five. They were out hit by the Serpents. Fifteen to fourteen. But it's a pretty close game. They're out... Neon got the early lead. Five runs in the first. Serpents clawed their way all the way back. Neon won it in the bottom of the tenth. All right, Serpents number one hitter. Um, we got a couple candidates. We can give it a couple people here, but probably going to give it to either Walker or Pinata. Both of them exactly the same stats. Take that back. We'll give it to Pinata. He's slightly better. Three for five. Two runs scored. Drove in one. For the Neon, uh, as much as you want to get to Avenue, we'll give this one to Overly. A pinch hit home run. I mean, a pinch hit in the bottom of the 10th inning. That single was the RBI. That was the game winner. So, Hugh's going to pick up the loss. He went two-thirds of an inning, gave it the one hit, one run, walked two, struck out two. He's now 0-1 on the year. And Dante also picked up the win. Went two innings, gave it the one hit, struck out four. All four of them in a row as well. That's his third win. So he's three and one on the year. Top players: Avenue gets number one star, two for five with a homer, three RBIs, and a run scored. Then Pinata number two, three for five with an RBI, two runs scored, and two stolen bases. Then Zuger get number three, two for four, the double, and two run, two RBIs. So that was a close one, but the Neon hold on to win it. They now lead the all-time series three to one. More importantly, they put some distance between them and Spider Bears and see if the Spider Bears are playing. But first up, we got some players here. Let's see. These two players are always fighting. Who are you going to reprimand? Why has it got to be two players we like? Man, man. I mean, we really want to keep both players, but 
Phillips a slightly higher loyalty. We'll dump him for now. Hopefully we can get it built back up. That hurts. And we got another one. Oh no. Meath is asking who you thought put the eye in today's game. Who do you throw under the bus? Um, Amelia or Pork Matthews? Matthews gave up the lead. And offside didn't do anything either really. But she only had a pinch hit opportunity. So we'll throw it for Matthews. Because he really kind of deserved it here. Which means we're probably going to lose him at the end of the year. Because that loyalty is going to be seriously low now. 35. Yeah, most likely we're probably going to lose him. It's not that big of a loss, though. All right, we got 20 games. Spider Bears are in here. I guess they only play them once. But let's get to it. First up, Ancients and War Wagons. Ancients had the lead, but they lose it and lose the game 4 to 3. Elephants and Gobblers. Gobblers win this one. Close one. 3 to 1. Riddles and the defending champ Guardians. Guardians are going to come back and win. No, they're going to lose it. They get doubled up 8 to 4. Champs and the Freedom. Champs score a bunch early and barely hang on. 5 to 3. And Spider Bears and the Africans. Looks like the. Ooh, Africans win it in the ninth inning. Nice one. The Underworld and the Outlaws. Underworld finally win a game. 4 to 3. Spots and Bards. Bards are going to win this one at home. Close one. 3 to 2. Riddles and Energetics. Riddles looks like they're going to have. Yeah, make quick work of them. 5 to 2. Favorites and Razzles. Uh, another close of 1 1 victory. 3 to 2 there. Sewer Sneaks and Machos. 12 innings before the Machos win that one. Underworld and Bolters. And this one goes 12 innings. Underworld lose it. Water Bullets and Lucky Breaks. Lucky Breaks lose again. 5 to 2. Bandits and Freedom. Freedom having no problem with them on that one. 7 to nothing. Philosophers win easily as well. 5 to 1 with the Craniums. Tundras and War Wagons. Shout out for the War Wagons. 4 nothing. And the Guardians against the Bottle Noses. And the Guardians are going to win. They do. 5-4. to four. Gobblers and Fantastics. Fantastic score a bunch. And they win this one fairly easily. 8-2. to two. Elephants and Bards. Looks like the Elephants are going to win this one. And they just pour it on. 12-3. to three. Grays and Spider Bears. Spider Bears just lost. And it looks like they're going to lose again. No, they come back. Nope, they're going to lose it again. Lots of offense there. 14-9. Lost for the Spider Bears, however. Serpents and Agents. Serpents lose again. This time 5-3. to three. All right, so with that Neon win and the Spider Bears loss, that extends the Neon lead. They're up to three and a half now. War Wagons lead their division by four over the Lucky Breaks. Greys have an eight game advantage over the Gobblers and the Serpents, so they're run, start running away from theirs. I think they're going to win their division fairly handily. Oh, minus a collapse here at the end if they don't get one. But 21 wins, that's right there behind the Neon, though. They're it's going to be a fight between these two teams at the moment, the way that both teams are playing. Who's going to have the better record? Bush League Conference, Water Bullets are tied for the division lead with the Outlaws. Four games over the Energetics. Guardians are still holding on on their division lead. One game over the Favorites. And the Riddles have a one-game lead over the Philosophers in their division. So summary-wise, we've got a couple things. Summer Arnold won Dodgeball Championship, so her fielding went up two points. That's good. Musty Escargo. Oh no, a former player. He was a former starter last year. He was dropped by the Grays. So he's a free agent again. Overt Reese was signed, but looking at the two pitchers, you can understand why they made the change. I wonder what his record is right now. Either way, he was a C-plus ranked player, and they dropped him and picked up an A-minus pitcher, so that's a big change. Lots of salary involved in that one as well. Eight millions extra. But it's sad to see one of our former players get dropped. Joey Hanson, well, I guess he did last over half a season with him, so it can't be too sad for him. Joey Hanson, he was signed to the bottle of Zisk and Casey Burton was dropped, so they swapped out first basemans on this one. Dropped the B, picked up a C-plus. Kind of about the same ratings for the most part. Contacts a little less and gained power. Advocates made a change. They signed Reese Bradley and dropped Bucket Cherry. Bucket Cherry is a good starter as well. An A minus ranked starter. Really good stats there. We could use them on our team. Hmm. So, they, wait a minute. They picked, they dropped the starter slash reliever. I don't know if he was actually a starter or not. I don't know. But they picked up a reliever instead. A really old one, too. So I don't know what's going on with that decision. 
other than over nine million of salary they freed up. See, Cannon Brooks was dropped by the spots, and Cason Porchetto was picked up. So closing pitchers swapped out. So B plus closer was dropped. It picked up a C plus. Mm. And that one catcher we were looking at drops their salary to man by about two, a little over two million. So as long as that keeps dropping, we'll keep watching. Bray Romero was dropped by the Advocates, and Luther Ramos was was picked up. So starters changed there. Dropped an A, picked up a C plus, freed up about twelve million in salary. That's a really good pitcher though. Mm. So there's gonna be some good players out here in this in the free agent pool right now. Look at all these good players. But look at them salary demands as well. That's way out of our range at the moment. Consider we only have six hundred thousand free in our budget. So depending on what the offseason says for our contracts and stuff, at the moment none of these players are gonna be viable at all. Most of the free agents we're not even gonna be able to sign, so the offseason could be interesting, but the way the team's built looks like it's going to be a win all this season or we're going to have to make some changes and drop a bunch of high-priced players here at the end. But we'll get to that when we get to it. First up, we got the favorites coming up here in Game 29 as the Neon hit the road again. Love Drummond's going to be on the mound with a 3-2 and record, 2-11 and ERA. And Pablo Rilo is going to be pitching for the favorites, 2-1 and with a 3-9-2 ERA. So the Neon went again, and they hit the road once again as well so let's see what happens game 29 getting close to the end of the season we still have a few more to go see if the neon can hang on to the division we'll see you back here for game 29 